Hi everyone, how are you? So today, um, I'm back doing my eyeliner. Um, I've already done a video on this on my Instagram, but Instagram only allows you to do like 15 minutes and I think I got really stressed out while doing it. So I wasn't able to fully explain um, everything I was doing because I was just like racing against the clock trying to get the video like finished and trying to explain everything I do um, that works. The eyeliner I use is a great I don't know it just works really well I have very greasy eyelids um so greasy that I've tried so many different eyeliners I've tried um testing like I don't go out and buy like really expensive eyeliners but like, I get the testers of really expensive eyeliners and none of them work um the ones that are supposed to be like long lasting 12 hour wear or whatever and none of them work um the only one that seems to work for me is this one it's the elf liquid liner it's three dollars at Ulta get those Ulta points while also not breaking the bank um I love it, I'll link it down below. But I also find that I have to wear a primer no matter what on my eyes. And it doesn't matter what primer I'm wearing, but I just seem to really like the um, Urban Decay Potion Primer. So I'll link that one down below too. But I mean, just those two together, like this liner will last me all day. I can cry and it won't move. It's not a, water, it's not a waterproof liner. It's just, I can cry and it just won't move. I've tested it. Um, anyway, this is just my favorite eyeliner. I've never uh, strayed away from it. I haven't found any other eyeliner that works like this before and helps me. So I'm just saying, try it. So this is the tip of it. It's like just a little paintbrush. It's my favorite. Um, maybe I like it so much because I paint, so I'm used to it. But I, I don't know. I know I, I've known people who paint and are like, it was hard for me. Um, I started doing eyeliner back beginning of high school when I was watching Zoella and a lot of different YouTubers I don't remember all their names but like all of the beginner YouTubers who were like do like, you know my makeup routine videos and they were all doing winged liner and they were all doing like winged liner tips and stuff so I was doing those which was like put tape against your eye and then do your eyeliner so I was trying those and they were working I was doing um tape eyeliner for a good year and I just stopped using the tape because I think I ran out and I was like well I'm gonna keep using tape so I stopped using the tape and I just started free ending my eyeliner and it was totally fine I have no clue it just was I was just good at it I got a lot of compliments on my eyeliner so I just felt like I always had to wear eyeliner um so I'm just gonna jump straight in so I have my mirror down here down here and I have my camera up here so anyway I'm going to, so I already put the primer on. I tried recording this video already and then my camera just like stopped and I can't, I think the video is going to reload onto here, but just in case it didn't reload, I started over. But um, I already put the primer on. Um, so I start from the outside. And if you sit there and just like try to draw it, your hand shakes, so don't, just like fast movements. That's what your hand needs. So I start at the corner of my eye real quickly upwards and now I have a little wing we're done I'm kidding we're not if only like that's the look a little eyelash we're done we're done so this is how I do my eyeliner you can do your eyeliner however way you want to I don't go all the way to my inner corner I used to um I stopped just because I felt like it made my eyes look really small uh, there was just one day I was like running late and I had to do my makeup for work and I was like I'm not doing my eyeliner all the way to the end. I'm like what if I just start here in the middle and work my way out and it worked and I was like my eyes look big and it's pretty and it's not done but I'm like my eyes look pretty and big why haven't I been doing this and I just started doing it. It's also like you're not using as much eyeliner so better for the bank too. Even though this is only three dollars, but we're college students and uh, we're cheap. Yep, we're cheap. Anyway, so I just connect it. Like that's literally all it is. I just start here in the middle, go out, and connect upward to that line and fill in. Um. I have done really big uh, wings where I just go out way bigger and like you could still probably do that. Uh, let's do it on camera. No, I don't want to really mess this up. But you can kind of touch it up, go along the line. 
that's just a cute little wing like it makes my eye look a lot bigger I feel like than going all the way down to the corner because I feel like when you do that you're um making it just really dark around your eye and making your eye look a lot smaller I feel like this kind of opens it up a little bit still because you're leaving all this open so let's do the other eye I know when you cross your body it's a lot harder so when you cross your body you have to be a lot faster with your movements so with here I feel like Sometimes my wings come up better here. Sometimes I really mess them up. So it just depends. So let's, let's try this. So real quick movement. This wing always ends up being larger than this one because I just real quickly fling it. Whatever. Your your eyebrows, your makeup, our sisters, they're not twins. Doesn't matter. So then we go into the middle. And work our way out. And even on this side, I kind of like change the way I do it. I can, I then kind of start working here. And once I get it halfway through here, I then connect it out. That'd be such a cute look. Just like leave it like that. Fill it in with white. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing that right now. I don't have any of that mixed up. Anyway. So then I'm just going to go and fill it in. And like I said, working across your body is really hard. So like you definitely have to be patient with yourself. Like I have a little like ottoman right here next to like my vanity and everything. So I'll put my my arm, I'll put my leg up on it and I'll like use it as like a, like just like something to rest on while I sit here and do my liner sometimes. Cause there's those days that you have where you do your makeup and you're like, this is amazing. I'm doing an amazing job. My eyeliner looks great. And then there's days you're doing your makeup and nothing's going right. You could be the person that everyone goes to for blending your eyeshadow. Everybody's like, you do amazing eyeshadow. And then there's that one day that you wake up and you try to blend your eyeshadow and it just won't blend. And you're like, today's my 13th reason. Like it's, that's it. So you gotta be patient with yourself things happen we're not perfect every day you can be perfect at something doesn't mean you're gonna be perfect at every single day this got really like deep i don't know why i started giving you guys therapy advice i'm not a therapist i'm not licensed please don't come for me i messed that up you see i told you What does Bob Ross say? Happy little mistakes. That's all this was. Happy little mistake. Do, 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 do. I usually listen to music while doing this, but I won't be copyrighted, so I'm not listening to music. In this little corner, I have like my record player right here. So like while I do, and like I also have my record player, and I also like my my Google. So like I'm a Google speaker, so like I can listen to music either way. Um. So yeah, normally I would just sit here. I don't know where I was going with that story. I was gonna like rip on myself for having a record player and having records, but then be like, but then I also only listen to digital or listen to my podcasts. And then I didn't rip on myself, so I don't really know where that went. So here we are. Um, anyway, so that's that eye. I always end up liking this eye better, even though it's across my body. And then I always end up liking that eye too, because it's all small and tiny. Um, this is also my better side. I always like this side of my face better. So for camera and pictures, like you'll always see pictures of me on this side. Um, I just take pictures on this side more. So my wing is always smaller. I rarely take pictures on this. I just don't like this angle. Like it doesn't make like it doesn't make sense to me. This side though, hi. Find your angles. Um, let's do my mascara in this video too. Why not? So I use two different mascaras. Um, this one I've had for a while now. This one is a trial size um, NARS Climax Extreme. I really like it. I want to get the full version when I run out of it. This one's the Bad Gal um, Bang benefit one it looks awful because my dog got to it and chewed on it but he didn't puncture it so 
it's still fine to use like it's not punctured anyway like it never leaked or anything that was the biggest thing I had to look for like to make sure it wasn't leaking and it didn't like nothing on it leaked so it's fine it's just he liked to um just gnaw on it a little bit it's just not on when your mascara is 20 something dollars I so this one's a lot softer um it doesn't give as much like it's just really kind of coating the lashes it's not really um adding too much like definition too much like craziness you know all of that it's just kind of coating them making them look longer and that's it not really fuller or anything it's just kind of adding length like i really like it it's one of my favorites that's why i was really only using this lash um this mascara for a long time and then i don't know i think something happened that i ended up wanting to try something else or just play with something else and i was like let me just layer these two and i fell in love um this eye is so annoying because it used to be my favorite like my lashes on this side used to be the best and then i started sleeping on this side and now my lashes are all bent and messed up that's what happens when you sleep on your face though Note to self, get an eyelash curler. I never needed an eyelash curler, so I never had one. Okay, and like, look at the bristles on the Climax one. Like, when I opened it for the first time, I was like, whoa. So I just kind of roll this one. It kind of splits up the lashes from the other one, because the other one kind of like bolts them all together. This one kind of splits them all up. Okay. And those are my lashes. I have to lay it all dry so it doesn't like get everywhere. So I have to sit here like this. I don't have any lip on. Should we do a gloss today? Let's do the color plop color plop. Color pop luxe gloss in lust. This is this is it. I went, I hadn't bought bought ColourPop in years just I just hadn't I love ColourPop I just hadn't bought ColourPop in a long time and all of a sudden I was like you know what I want some ColourPop gloss and they were having a sale it was like buy three get three free and I was like I'm gonna do it on all their lippy stuff and I just went ahead and got it and I'm so happy I did because look at that I have color on my face now here we go okay so that's my eyeliner. I also showed you guys my mascara because why not? And lip gloss. And also sorry that my hair is a mess today. It's, I don't, I don't know. She's in a ponytail today, that's it. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and also my shirt says spilling the tea. I love it. Forever 21, it was, it's old though. So like, they probably don't have it still, but if they do, if you ever see it, cop it go cop it anyway okay that's it okay so that's my eyeliner look super simple but at the same time i understand a uh, liquid liner is really hard for everyone um if you ever want a full in detail tape tutorial i did do that on my instagram as well it's 15 minutes but i think as well it wasn't as detailed as it could have been um because i was super stressed out about getting it done uh under the 15 minutes and they ended up being like 11 minutes because i was like stressing um, so I can do that if you guys want, because I understand uh, liquid liner is super hard to get the hang of. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.